Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on how to georeference a topo sheet using ArcGIS software. The first thing we need to do is open ArcMap and create a new map. Click OK. In the working space, right click and go to data frame properties, coordinate system, projected coordinate system, UTM, WGS1984 Northern Hemisphere, Zone 44 North and click apply OK. We need a topo sheet for georeferencing. I have already downloaded a topo sheet. Navigate to your topo sheet and add the data to the working space. Since it is not georeference, it is showing it as unknown spatial reference. Click OK. Use the zoom in button and full extend button to navigate the features of the topo sheet. Note down the latitude and longitude coordinate informations clearly. Note down the values in a piece of paper before proceeding this exercise. We need to enable the georeferencing toolbar. For that, go to the toolbar and right click. Make sure that this toolbar is in a comfortable position. You can drag it to your comfortable position. Add control points. A topo sheet consists of uh, four control points top left corner and then top right, bottom left and bottom right. Zoom in as much as possible up to that intersection. Click add control points. Here the longitude is 79 degrees 0 minutes whereas the latitude is 12 degree 30 minutes. Zoom into the intersection left click and right click add X and Y. X means long longitude and Y means latitude. Now move towards the second control point which is on the top right corner. Go to the top right corner. Again use that uh, zoom in button. Here the longitude is 79 degree 15 minutes and latitude is 12 degree 30 minutes. The longitude value alone got changed. Left click and right click add x and y x is longitude and y is latitude click ok now move towards the third control point which is on the right bottom corner note down the latitude and longitude information here the latitude is 12 degree 15 minutes and longitude is 79 degree 15 minutes. Repeat the same procedure. Click OK. Now coming to the last control point which is on the left bottom corner. Zoom in as much as possible. Always enter the values in decimals. If it is 15 minutes, then it is 0.25. If it is 30 minutes, it is 0 0.50. And if it is 45 minutes, it is 0.75 in decimals. Enter the last control point values and click OK. Now we have entered all the four control points. To view it, click on this view link table. Here our entered values are visible. X values and Y values are visible. And we can also spot the errors. Which will be like in residue X and residual Y. Residue means error. Make sure that the error should not be more than 0 0.01. We can also save this uh, in text format. I am giving the name as coordinates and saving it.
now we are going to rectify this one click on the rectify now we can modify the saving location I am modifying it to georeferencing folder and renaming this file as rectified at opposite you can also save this in other file formats such as tiff image and these are all the other options available as of now i'm just going for tiff format itself and saving it now the file gets saved in tiff format now the display unit is in actually meters you can see the display unit is in meters for changing this display unit we need to right click go to data frame properties in general there is a option here called display it is in uh, meters now i am just changing it to degree minutes and seconds by doing so we can change the display unit see now the values are uh, changed in degree minutes and seconds see the units are changed to degree minutes and seconds we can also change to other formats like kilometers nautical miles miles now it is changed to kilometers again i'm just reverting back to decimal sorry degree minutes and seconds click apply okay see this is how we can uh, make sure that whether our file is clearly geo referenced or not see the long date values by dragging it on the screen i can clearly see the decimals or uh, display unit is in degree minutes and seconds now i am just adding the geo referenced tiff file for making sure that whether it is geo referenced or not go to properties and see the spatial reference it is wgs1984 therefore we have successfully geo referenced this topo sheet and saved it in tiff format Thank you guys thank you for watching we can see further exercises like this in the future classes thank you